today's review, I'll be looking at the G.I. Joe Sigma-6 Iron Grenadier. And here on display we have one of the two accessories that comes with the Iron Grenadier action figure. Uh, we have the capture spear, which is attached via cord to a pair of iron shackles around the wrists here, and an iron shackle around the neck. Uh, so a really cool uh, accessory you can use for uh, displaying a capture scene uh, where the uh, Cobra forces are taking over G.I. Joe. Uh, in this case we have Snake Eyes uh, being captured. So let's go ahead and take off this accessory here. Kind of show you in more detail what it looks like. Uh, you can see here on the tip it has a little spear point. And the gimmick is you will uh, be able to pull on this front section here which tightens up the grip as you can see or tightens up the uh, s the slack on the uh, on the shackles there so a really cool weapon uh, it's got a handle there uh, so pretty cool accessory and here it is this is the uh, grenade launcher which is really cool uh, got a nice grip here uh, ammo clip here and storage for uh, two additional uh, grenades. Um, there's a trigger here, and if you fire, it does fire the grenade. So, uh, really cool accessory. And you can actually have it held in this hand, as you can see there. Um, it doesn't seem to want to hold too well. Um, his, the figure's uh, right hand does have what's called Kung Fu Grip. Uh, you can see there's a pin there. It's basically a spring-loaded uh, type of articulation at the, uh, at the fingers there. So, eh, it seems to want to do that, but anyways, uh, you do have this nice weapon here. Now, onto the figure itself, uh, articulation-wise, a uh, head does rotate uh, quite freely. Of course you'd ha you have these conduits uh, which connects to a backpack here. Uh, the backpack itself uh, does come off as you can see there and just simply plugs in at three points onto the back. Uh, but yeah, head rotation is present. Uh, you have shoulders uh, go all the way around out that far. Uh, you do have a Bend at the elbow, as well as a swivel, and of course the wrists. Uh, there is rotation at the wrists. Uh, you have articulation at the ab in this manner, and you actually do have waist articulation right there, as you can see. Uh, legs can go out pretty far, forward, back and actually pretty far up to the side there. Uh, so you got that. Uh, you do have a swivel and a bend at the knee and a joint like that at the ankle. And that pretty much is the articulation. Uh, really nice figure actually. I've been after this for quite some time. Uh, finally found it for the right price. I think I paid I think I paid around uh, twenty dollars uh, plus shipping. I've seen this figure for a lot more on eBay, so I was kind of uh, happy to see it that low, even though that's still thirty dollars. I think these figures originally, when they first came out, uh, were retailing for around maybe twelve dollars. Uh, but anyways, really nice figure. Uh, this belt here does come off. There is a connection point at the back where you can take it off. Uh, you can see the belt is pretty detailed. Uh, silver on the front. Uh, you've got some pouches on the side there. Uh, you also have a little canister here. And these appear to be really uh, actual working uh, buckles on both sides of his uh, legs there. Uh, one connects to the uh, armor here and the other connects uh, this little canister here which feeds into his backpack. 
because you can see it kind of moves and it does come off. You can take that off uh, at these two points there and these two points there. So really cool. Yeah, these uh, Sigma 6 uh, figures are really nice. They're really large. Uh, they're probably, I want to say about 8 inches tall, but let's figure out exactly what it is here. Since I have my tape measure handy, yeah, we're looking at a good 8 and a half inches. So, a really nice uh, size for this figure. And uh, just as a fun comparison, uh, here is a three and three quarter inch scale Iron Man figure, just to give you an idea. And let me see if I can get the uh, gun held here. Don't know if this is going to work for the left. This may work better in this hand. Oops. Eh. Not really too happy at how he holds his gun. Uh, you can see there it kind of is loose. The uh, Kung Fu grip is supposed to work and uh, really clamp on to this. But, eh, see, it's, it, it tends to want to fall out, unfortunately. I guess that's okay, but uh, you can see how uh, it's almost like the hand is too small for the grip which is usually not the case. Usually they, uh, they do a good job at making the figures hold their weapons, but I don't know. Uh, this is okay, only so-so. Alrighty, well thanks for watching. This has been my review of the Sigma 6 G.I. Joe Iron Grenadier. Uh, definitely a recommended figure if you can find it on eBay.